Hi everyone, I uh, just got my new Chromecast arrive um, well, the day before yesterday, but the first chance I've had to open it. I thought you might like to see an unboxing and then me plugging it in and getting the thing working. I've got an existing Chromecast one, so um, I'm going to uh, take that one out and plug this one in instead. Quick look around the box there, you'll see from the inside in a minute. So again, this has got HD video recording, so you can, or streaming rather, from the cloud. Surround sound support, um, dual band now as well, so working on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, which I'm uh, looking forward to see if that uh, makes it a bit quicker. Screen mirroring, well we know about them, that's pretty handy actually if you're reviewing apps and things like that, and you've got an HDMI capture board. And it works with Android devices, iPhone, iPad, Mac, Windows, Chromebook, so pretty much everything I think really. Uh, so let's have a quick look. We look around the back of it, kind of a, a natty little unzip for it. So I'm going to hand it with one hand, <laughs> unravel that. And then this, I believe, um, opens up to give us some instructions on the inside. Uh, there we go. Don't want to damage it too much if I can. One handed for you. Let's unravel that. So yeah, instructions here for setting it up. Nice and straightforward. Um, Plug into power and TV, switch TV input, set it up from the app. Couldn't be much more simple, really. So, quick look inside as I open this up. Again, yeah, it does look a little bit like the Beats logo, really. Is that maybe a homage to Apple? I think not. Uh, nice and straightforward inside. So, I've got the one that you can buy from retail stores like Curry's, Comet, and so on in the UK. So, that only comes in black, but if you buy it online from the website the google play website then you can get it in a couple of other colors as well and um it's got a magnet on the back of it so it kind of clicks into it i guess that's so um maybe transporting it around or something just to stop it flapping around the connector so on this one rather than the old shape one which we'll cut away to in a minute um which was more like a usb uh, memory stick or something like that shape this is more of a puck look to it so uh rather neat um, probably to take into account the new antennas, I would think. And it also comes with the power supply, which we didn't get last time. Um, and again, that's got the standard, um, same as this Note, Galaxy Note 4 that I'm filming this on. It's got the standard USB uh, connector on it for charging, um, for power, as well as the charger. Um, and I say that's a uh, plug in port on the side there, and then the HDMI cable on the other end. So we're going to plug that into the TV in a sec. Um, I think looking around there, there is a very small little uh, dimply bit there. I can't see whether that's a button to press or part of the casing. We'll look into that a little bit more later on. And um, on the underside there, I would imagine just um, a connection button or for maybe for doing reset, but we'll discover that in a little bit. Right, to the TV. So, um, Come and have a look. So on the side of my TV at the moment, we have plugged in there a bunch of stuff. Can you see it from the side there? A memory stick. And if we fiddle around down there, you can probably just about see. Um, a bit hard to see down the side there, actually. But we have got the Chromecast that we're going to remove. Here we go. Chromecast. So that I've been exceptionally pleased with, has been really, really good. So I think it's got the same power, so it has. So I'm going to unplug that. There we go. And I'm going to plug this in instead. So I'm getting the power from the USB port of my um, Samsung TV. So I'm going to have to pause this a sec while I put the handset down just to plug that in. But essentially I'm going to plug that into there, to the power. And then the other end, I'm going to squeeze it around the back of the house and memory stick into the HDMI port there. Okay, back, well, before you know it. And here we go. This is before you know it. So, looks a mess from here. But I'm trying to put this camera around the side there. Maybe you can see that. So it's gone straight to the HDMI port, no problem at all. And I've used the existing USB out from the TV to the USB port on the side rather than the power supply that came with it. I'm going to tuck it down the side. Now my setup, of course I've got a, a little USB memory stick there with various bits and pieces on playing there, but I'm just leaving it as it is. We're going to switch the TV now on. 
Q remote upside down. Um, TV comes on. And I'm going to choose the HDMI port that I'm plugged into. Uh, so, HDMI 3. And we're going to see what happens. So, I did see a bit of a Chromecast thing. Right, set me up. Chromecast.com setup. So what I shall do, again, is pause a little. So I want to get this all on one take if I can. Um, I'm going to go and get another phone, maybe my laptop actually, and we will try and connect to that. So hold on a second. Okay, right, just out of interest, I went on to the laptop thinking maybe I could set it up from there. So this laptop is connected in on the same network, same Wi-Fi network that this is going to be used on. And um, I went to chromecast.com forward slash setup. It says, welcome, let's get you set up. And casting and wants me to get the app going so I'm gonna go over to another device so you can't do it from a laptop you need to do it from a mobile device as far as I can see anyway hold on right here we go so um, this isn't my daily driver I normally use a Galaxy Note 4 um, but I'm going to now I've installed the Chromecast app um, I'm going to go and accept the various bits and pieces connected to the same Wi-Fi now it's going to scan for some Chromecast devices and there we go Oops, my focus is a bit out there Let's see if I can get that nice and clear set up Chromecast 2957 that will be the one that is in the background excuse the focus on this right so it's noticed it Chromecast waiting instructions can you see that Right, connecting. Somewhat easier than the last one. Changing on your TV. I see the code. I'm going to just go for, I'm going to edit this and give it a name. So because I will probably get another one of these, I'm going to. Looking through the screen while typing is not so easy, so hold to one side. This is going to be called the lounge. Set the name. I want the Wi Fi password. Okay, for this, look away. Right, there we go. So that's that set, the Wi Fi connection on there. So now I have a magically lounge up here. So that tells me that it's connected, taken my name, all on the same Wi-Fi, albeit, as I said, on the um, 2.4 gigahertz rather than the 5 gigahertz. And whew, the same picture is now on there and on there. So what can we do? Let's look for what's on. So if I have a quick look to see, so on here I've got Google Play, Music, YouTube. Put the YouTube on. So... A video about Chromecast. Let's have a quick look. Let's play that from our friends Detroit Borg. If I play that on there, and then so that started to play, I'm going to connect and choose Lounge. Wait, and very complex. So this can that is plug quick. Into the back of your TV and disappear, which leaves your system really quick. much, much, much so better, considerably quicker. Fantastic. I say that's a success so in a minute I'm going to attempt to send something over um, from the laptop whoosh, the laptop let's see if we can screen mirror perhaps up onto there so if you want to bear with me a second I'm going to stay on pause again where possible I want to get the, this in one sort of flowing thing um, I'm going to pause you and then get my laptop going and then connect to uh, the Chromecast. I don't think I've got the app installed on or the plugin installed in there. So hold on a second. Right, here we are back. Laptop on. TV on with Chromecast. Now, I think in order to get Chromecast going, so we might as well do this together. I need to go into second settings and maybe extensions and see whether we've got 
Chromecast. We have. Let's enable that. So that's good. Now up in the top corner we have come on our little Chromecast sign. So I think if I click on that, automatically send cast extension uses statistics. I didn't want to do that. I'm going to switch that one off. Click on OK. And now I've got my lounge listed there. Select that one. Whoops, something's happening over here. Um, in a minute or three, maybe. Still spiraling there. Sorry about the focus. Generally pretty quick. Ah. Line seems to have lost its connection with your device. Please try casting again. I love it when these things work like this. Um, the screen's blipped back there like that. Let's try that again. Maybe you're not going to be successful. Perhaps what I will do is just close that. I'm running Windows 10, by the way, here on this little Lenovo. The Yoga 2, which I must say. I love it. I love it a lot. Right. Chromecast. We won't restore pages. Is a touch screen, but you don't want to see my big finger going across there. Let's try Chromecast again. Little thing up here. Select lounge. Aha. Instant. Maybe I just needed to restart it. So let's go and have a quick look at um, something. Let's choose news. Here. News. Get an idea of the date then. See what's happening in the news. So that is up on screen at the same time. So from my laptop I'm going to touch screen technology. Bring, and it's up on there instantly. Now I have got some video editing software on here. You might have guessed that. So I'm going to run uh, Power Director, I think. I don't think I've got anything more exciting than that for the moment. So let's go for Power Director 13 on here. And so with Chrome minimized, I get What's on the Chrome moment? And on the computer, I've got whatever it is I'm going to run. So just run my little video editor. I can still leave that running on in the background. So if I now burr, 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 load up my screen there, continue as Google unveils new system to load stories faster on phones. Go for that. Now, interestingly, what is on the screen here is not the same. Ah, right, it's that screen, that's why. Okay, so that tab, that current tab, is the one that's on there. Another tab that's opened, Mail Online, about Google, doesn't come up onto there. So I'm going to try and close the first tab. And that shows us that one is the one that's casting. So if I come up to there and go over to here, can I choose to cast that instead? Right, cast this tab. Aha, okay. Quite a neat little feature. So you'd be casting from one if you're showing a presentation or something, or looking something else up on another tab and um and not showing that on the screen. That's quite handy. Anyway. I'm starting to gabble now, aren't I? So, overall impressions, very, very good. Speed of response, exceptional. When you're working with things like YouTube, I shall test Netflix later on, and I'll do that from the note. Um, and I'll do a bit of screen mirroring, and if I can capture that on another device, I'll do that for you as well. But thanks for tuning in, and I hope that's been of some use to you. So lovely and quick to set up, and certainly worth 30 quid of anybody's money. Night to night.